Hello folks, my name's David Edgar, I'm the host of Heart and Hand, the Rangers podcast, and I'm joining you today, yes, to discuss Rangers, yes, 2-1 victory over Celtic at Parkhead today, an amazing victory, 10-man Rangers defeating 12-man Celtic, I can be an unfair there, 14-man Celtic, a scandalous refereeing performance was not enough for Celtic this time, as it had been in the League Cup final, this time Rangers persevered because in the final analysis, and I'll just get to that right at the start of this pod, we are better than them. Um, take away all the, the media hype, take away the referees, take away their officials, we just have better players. And today Rangers had to go out there and show, apart from skill, which we know that they've got, they had to go out there and show belief, desire, heart, all the things we love about our club. Oh, and they did it. They did it and some. And they deserve nothing but praise for a superb victory because some people suggested after the cup final that it wasn't about Rangers playing well and it was more about Celtic playing badly and that they couldn't possibly play as badly as that. And of course, they had played badly and won. But today, Rangers went and dominated again on their own midden and played them off the park again. And really, they're fortunate, as Chris Boyd said after the match on the Sky coverage, that it was only 2-1 because Rangers were better in every single department today, I felt, apart from having referees in back pockets. So what happened? Well, it was a classic. It was one that we'll be talking about for a long, long time. Rangers were the better side in the early stages of the match, but couldn't get the goal and only... Uh, the Rangers support, only we can be sitting there worried because we're dominating a game and thinking, not again here, uh, because Rangers were the better side, but just the last ball, the final third, our midfield though was utterly dominant, uh, you didn't uh, see any of Celtic star players in the opening 30 minutes or so because uh, in particular Davis and uh, Glenn Kamara were dominating in the midfield and up front the three boys were working so hard and causing Celtic all sorts of problems so Kevin Clancy decided here I better step in here and awarded a Celtic, uh, Celtic a penalty um, for a pull of the shirt by Nico Katic Nico Katic did pull Julian's shirt um, after Julian had pulled his and what happened today was it wasn't that the decisions technically were incorrect genuinely most of the time it was every 50 50 went for Celtic and to put it in context there was that in the second half Joe Aribo gets pulled just before the corner that leads to our, our winning goal no penalty uh, ball and goalie on a booking hauls back Alfredo Morelos exact same foul as Glenn Kamara has been booked for no booking Ryan Christie makes several fouls on a yellow card including one where he grabs Alfie by the nuts no booking. Alfie, on a yellow card, um, falls down under a challenge. You could call it a dive. I didn't think it was. I thought his legs were just away at the end of a run. Oh, that's definitely a second yellow. Because that's what happens when it comes to 50-50s. Kevin Clancy will award them to Celtic. And Rangers do not get them. But we didn't let it bother us this time. Because uh, up stepped Ryan Christie, uh, the first I'd seen him, uh, to be honest. And Alan McGregor with another memorable old firm save. Alan McGregor has done that before and they've been crucial. Uh, I'm looking at you, George Samaras, and I have a feeling that that one's going to be as well. So from that, Rangers then went, oh, it is our day. Stepped up the field and Borna Barisic, when I'm screaming at him to whip the ball in, nah, he just waits, plays a perfect ball to Ryan Kent, who curls a beautiful shot outside the defender and then off the far post. It was a stunning finish from him and that's why we brought him back. He's special. He does it in these games. He's got that Walters, McCoy, Alberts, Loudrop thing about him that he looks at this game and goes, aye. This is the one I'm going to turn up in. He was brilliant today. You saw it right from the tunnel. Just 100% focus in his eyes. And Ryan Kent, that's 7 million quid right there. The boy is a star and he's going to win many things for us. Unfortunately, we couldn't hold the lead. Ryan Jack, who had an erratic first half, came on to the game in the second half. But he tried uh, to be a wee bit too clever in a tackle. And rather than just win the tackle, he tried to win the tackle and play a pass at the same time. The ball broke off uh, a Celtic player to Callum McGregor. He had a shot that hit Odson Edward in the hand and deflected past Alan McGregor. Now, we've been told uh, in football this season... Doesn't matter if you mean it or not, if the ball hits your hand uh, and your hand's involved in the scoring of a goal, that's it, it's not given. 50-50s don't go for Rangers. And some people tried to say, well, Kevin Clancy couldn't have seen it, he is looking right at it. He saw it, he just didn't give it. Would it have happened if it had been the other way around? 
I think we all know the answer to that. And that put Rangers on the back foot and Celtic had their only good spell of play. And in the second half, Rangers could easily have been forgiven for just thinking, you know, this is going to be a bit much for us. But we didn't. We came out and we were dominant. And then we got the winner. A superb ball by Borna Barisic. Up rose Nico Katic. Superbly, like a salmon, like a Ronaldo salmon. And headed the ball into the net. Rangers put men on, on the post at corners. And Stephen Davis twice cleared headers off the line. Celtic choose not to. Anyway, after that, it was a case of Rangers sitting in and playing on the break and we made some more good chances, uh, but Celtic, I suppose, could say that they were still in it, but I thought Rangers ran the game out superbly and then you saw at the end what it meant to Stephen Gerrard. Alfie's red card, only one player in Scotland, etc, etc. Uh, Michael Beale, well done. He wasted no time in letting the ref know what he thought of it and that was the that. Was that. Uh, after the uh, four minutes of injury time, Clancy announced turned out to be about 27 what does this mean for us? Well, it slays a dragon. Um, it shows us that seven, uh, you know, that, that uh, nine years, sorry, seven, nine years in, the Rangers are back and capable of going and winning these matches. And it tells us that the end of this decade has brought to the, the close a chapter uh, in our history that was brutal. But this is a, a team that's capable of going and winning the title now. This is a side that are full of, good players but full of heart and energy and the manager deserves so much credit it was only 20 months ago that Rangers were losing these matches by fours and fives while Celtic players ran about laughing and high-fiving each other because of how easy it was there was none of that today from them they knew they were in a game and I'm not doing that thing of going ah they're pish I mean it's it's fun and it's a laugh but they're not pish they're a good side and we beat them we played them off the park again um, let's not do down our own achievement here. Rangers deserved that. We were the better side from start to finish. And it's a big three points. Now, they, uh, because of their fixture chicanery, can point to being top of the league. But we all know the truth. And we'll see what happens. Rangers did not come back well from the winter break last year. Uh, I have a feeling, though, that this is a team that now learns from its mistakes. We deserved that. Oh, and can I just say to the, the Green Brigade with a banner today, turns out St. Michael thinks he's a raw pricks as well, eh? Anyway, thank you for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful new year. And if you want to come and join in the celebrations at Heart and Hand on Patreon, just go to patreon.com forward slash Heart and Hand. You will find some fantastic coverage of this game today, as well as the season so far. And I think you'll enjoy it. Just one ninety nine per month. Great time to sign up. New year, new you. New subscription, hopefully. Thanks for joining me. I'll talk to you again after our next match against Strenra. Have a good start to the year. Bye-bye.